guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's project, we're going to be making a milkmaid style top. And I'm going to make the version that I've been seeing a lot of lately that has like the ruched band in the front. And it should be pretty easy and beginner friendly, so I hope you guys give it a try. And for this project, you're just going to need some knit fabric. So I got this one from Joann's. And you want to get one that's a little bit on the thicker side because we're only going to be using one layer, so you don't want it to be see-through. And it should have a decent stretch to it so you can get it on and off. And I think I have a yard here, but I'm planning to make a few tops out of this one. So you could probably just get half a yard for this project and it would work just fine. And like I mentioned, I got mine at Joann's and I'm really excited about it because I really like this light purple fabric. And I don't think I've ever actually made anything that was purple on my channel. So I'm excited to shake it up a little bit. So let's get working! So when you're working with knit fabric, it's really important that the stretch goes widthwise so that we can get it on and off. And if your fabric has an always stretch, that works too. You just accidentally don't want to put the side that doesn't stretch widthwise. And the pieces for this project are pretty straightforward. They're mostly rectangles. And so the first ones you're going to cut out are for the front of the top. And this is the ruffle and the lining. So you're just going to cut out one bigger rectangle and one smaller rectangle. Here we have the bottom piece and the side piece. And the bottom piece should just come in slightly. And then this is the last piece and it is just the back piece. You're basically just going to cut one of all these pieces and two side pieces. Okay, the first step we're going to do on this project is we need to gather up the top ruffle. So I'm just going to take our long rectangle piece and put two basting stitches down either really long side so we can gather it up. So the basting stitch is just the longest stitch on your machine and it is a temporary stitch that we're going to take out later. So you're just going to change the stitch length on your machine and then put two parallel lines down either side. And now we need to make this long piece fit onto this small piece. So before we start ruffling this one, the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the little bottom piece and I'm going to pin the bigger edge to the bottom of the lining piece. And you want both of the pretty sides to be facing up. And then I'm just going to take the bigger piece and I'm going to pin these sides together first. And also when you're pinning this piece, you want the pretty side to be facing down towards the other fabrics. And I'm also going to pin the centers down because this will help make the ruffles a little more even once we start putting it all together. And now the way to gather this up is you're going to pull on the two basting stitches on the same side. And when you pull on them, it's going to gather up the fabric. And you're going to gather both sides until it fits perfectly into the spaces that we marked out. And then once you make the ruffles all nice and even, you're just going to pin them down. And now I'm going to sew across either edge here. When you're sewing with knits though, you don't want to use a regular straight stitch because that won't give the fabric any stretch and the stitches might break. So it's really important that you use a stitch capable of giving it some stretch and you can use a zigzag stitch, but I found that this stitch on my machine works really nicely. And now you can just go ahead and pull out all the basting stitches because we don't need them anymore. And now you can turn this piece right side out and it should look like this. To make it so that the ruffled edge doesn't fold over on itself, I'm just going to take a small piece of boning. And you can get this boning on Amazon, it just comes in a roll like this, and I cut mine in half and just put a zigzag across it. Um, but you can just use the thick version if you want to. And you just iron it out to get it nice and flat. And I'm just going to sew this right on top of the seam that we just sewed on the top part of the ruffle with a regular straight stitch to give this edge a little bit more structure so that it holds its shape. Okay, next we're going to take these little side pieces and we're going to sew them down the side of this piece. Um, so I just held this up to myself and the neckline is pretty big here. So I pinned it where I want these straps to start and I kind of made it into a diagonal pattern that fits down into this piece again. And that's where I want to attach this piece to make it a little bit smaller on me. So I'm going to take one of these pieces and the straight edge, I'm going to put it pretty side to pretty side with this bodice piece. And I'm going to pin these together down that line that I marked out. And you want to make it the same on both sides. And I'm going to sew down either side here. And now your piece should look like this. And it's actually starting to come together and it looks really good. And I'm going to just cut down these sides because we had a lot of extra fabric here. And we're going to take the back piece now and lay it on top, pretty sides together. And I'm going to pin and sew these pieces together down the sides and top seams. The 
top is looking really good and it's really close to being done now. And the very last step is to basically hem all of the raw edges. So we need to finish up the neckline, the armholes, and also the bottom. And to do this on a knit fabric and make it look nice, we're going to do a trick using some elastic. The first step is we're going to take our elastic and we're going to lay it on the back side of the fabric and we're going to put a zigzag stitch across it wherever we want to hem it. And now that this has been sewn all around, I'm going to clip down the edges, fold down this edge, and then sew across this with a regular stitch. And that technique should give you a nice finished edge and it should still have some stretch to it. So I'm just going to finish up doing that around the armholes and the hem and then your shirt is completely done. And here is the final look. sure if this design was going to be my favorite on me but I think it's actually really cute I think it's going to be a really cute piece for summer and spring and it's really easy to pair with a bunch of different skirts and shorts and stuff also this is the moment when I started to get concerned about what was happening behind me because um yeah the whole time I was modeling this outfit my brothers were trying to help my dad like lift something heavy from the truck it was totally fine they got it down safely it was just like a funny moment to me <laughs> anyway that is the whole tutorial I really hope you guys like it if you guys give this shirt a try, you can totally send me a picture on Instagram. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I post videos every Friday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!